we've, um, we've reached out to an aerobatic flight team that they do a lot of air and water shows. And so they're more private aircraft that we can bring in and um, we're really excited about it. The, the flyover, it's still, it's four planes that'll be flying over. I mean, they're not military jets, but they're still um, planes that'll be loud and there'll be a lot of smoke and we're really excited about it. The Aeroshell Aerobatic Team from Alabama has agreed to perform the flyovers using aircraft from the World War II era. Flyovers at Packer Games had been in doubt after federal budget cuts forced the U.S. military to cut back on community events. We were, this is one of the fan favorites, so we wanted to make sure we got that in for our kickoff game. And um, we're looking at our pregame window and the national anthem and the flyover and um, really hoping that we give them a great experience. The Packers will play the Redskins Sunday in the season home opener, and a number of events are planned, including the traditional alumni celebration, where 30 former players from 1965, 66, and 67 will be introduced during halftime. Also, a coat collection drive will be held before the game to benefit needy children, and Sargento's is featuring a replica of the stadium built out of real cheese. Uh, we do have, um, we'll be handing out sunglasses to everybody as um, they come in, so we want to make sure everybody gets their sunglasses and wears them. We have a panoramic camera that will be taking a 360 degree photo around 11.30, so we're asking fans to get into their seat, get into your seats early, 11.30 we'll take the photo and it's a 360 degree photo so you can go back in and zoom in and find yourself in the stadium, so that's always fun. Um, just in a, a reminder to fans on the public safety with the plastic bags, make sure you're, you know, you're carrying in a clear plastic bag and it, and it fits into our guidelines and you can get all of those guidelines on Packers.com.